It stinks. What'd you expect? It's a sewer. First sign of a rat I'm off. Oh, my God, and there they are. Look the rats you want to worry about. It's the alligators. You looking for this? Don't run. You're under arrest for breaking and entering, theft and burglary. You don't have to say anything, but if you don't, we'll be really offended. And you wouldn't want that, no, would you? What is this? Hey, what are you doing? Okay. This is it. This is where we go in. John Magnuson. You're a hard man to find. Even harder to catch. You must be slipping. What is this? We want you to watch something. So you've got me on video. So what? You've been to prison, John. You know the form. 23 hours lock-up. Visits once every fortnight. I'd already be talking with my brief if you were going to do anything. So what's the deal? Don't <laughs> make me hurt you. All right! I'm getting the message. It's some kind of... Government outfit. Must be the helicopter that gave us away. What the hell do you want with me? You reckon you can get through there? Cool. If it gets me away from the rats. Living up to your motto, aren't you? What motto? Who dares whinge? Bunker. There's beds in here and everything. Even old telephone with a dial. There's a WD fork down there. Can you see the iron door? Yeah. Found it. It's here, like it says on the plane. Mommy El Fassad, 34. Journalist for a Saudi media company, but with suspected links to terrorist groups. Messy. With 32 9 millimeter rounds fired at close range in less than two seconds, accuracy wasn't really an issue. The motorbike was later found dumped on waste ground, incinerated. Aren't you going to introduce us? This is Jaeger. He's with Mossad. 
He knows who you are. The group responsible for this are an organization so secret, so new they have no name. We call them the Zukanish. It's a Yiddish word meaning to search, hunt. The Zukanish are well organized, well connected, and well funded. Their members are mostly nationals from other countries, British, French, German. They integrate, become dentists, dustmen, doctors, get married, have kids. Sleepers. If you like, but signing up to do one job and one job only. This makes it harder for us to track them down. Why would you want to? They're doing your job for you. Momi El Fassad was working for us. We are engaged in a political war. Sometimes all is not as it seems. In other words, you've lost control of the situation. The Zukenish have a list. It has contact details of all agents and proposed targets. The list is held by an American diplomat, Art Spellman. Spellman is an NSA. His speciality is codes and ciphers. In the world of intelligence, that makes him a player. In other words, we don't know how high up this goes. The only way we can establish that is by seizing the list. And we need to do so without causing our American friends any embarrassment. What's this place? Hartington Safety Deposit Center. Spellman is a regular customer in his guise as a diplomatic courier. It's where the list is being held. And you want us to steal it? It's a black bag operation. We can't officially sanction this. If you want to back out now, you can. And if we're caught, we're on our own. Regiment will deny you've ever been badged. If it goes to court, you face the risk of a custodial sentence. I'm up for it. <laughs> I'm game. What do you think, Anna? We've all got careers. Some of us have got families. And you're asking us to lay that on the line for some towelheads engaged in somebody else's war? No. Our concern is that these people are using London as a base. Our problem is that we don't know whether Spellman is abusing his position or if his activities are part of some wider conspiracy. We have to assess the risks. If the odds are against it, then all bets are off. No, no, he's right. We can't rush into this blind. You seem a bit unhappy, Ian. If you want to know the truth, I am. Are you standing down? If I have a choice. Very well. You'll need an expert, a safe cracker, someone who knows what they're doing. Let's hope you're as good as they say you are. Listen, all we can tell you is it's a matter of national security. You'll be a hero. If not, this goes to Scotland Yard. I have no choice, have I? No, not really. the sewers that flow under Hartington's. Now, you won't find this on any waterboard map. The War Office built an underground bunker for its accounting staff when they occupied the building. Hardly anyone knows it exists. It had heat, light, running water, plus its own independent telephone network. Does that mean there's a generator down there? Yes. Does it work? It does now. Now, the bunker has steps leading up to where the old vault starts. That's where we go in. Hartington's is one of London's oldest established financial institutions. Located in London Square Mile, its customers include the rich, the famous, and the infamous. Deacon and Butler, as soon as you'll need to leave any mobile phones with me. After the Zalander robbery eight years ago, demand from certain clients led to a review of the bank's facilities. In 1996, Hartington's commissioned a steel fiber, chemically bonded, modular design vault with panels 12 inches thick, reinforced with steel rods, rated UL3. 
They then placed it inside the old vault, making it virtually impregnable. And for good luck, lined the inside with quarter-inch steel plate. So the weakest point is the old entrance to the bunker. Which brings us out into the reception area of the vault. Morning, gentlemen. Yep. The security guards will give you a usual once-over. Nothing too intimate. They don't want to frighten the clientele. Thank you. Access is granted once you hand over your key card and give your password. Black hole. The computer then manipulates the triple tumbler combination, allowing the vault door to open. When the vault is closed, the signal from the cameras are blocked to allow the customers extra privacy. This is a little inconvenient, as we don't know the exact location of the list. And there are over 2,000 boxes inside, all electronically operated and encoded with the client's key card. We won't have time to open them all. We realize that. So we've installed a transmitter to hack into their CCTV system. The transmitter works off an extremely high infrared frequency, rendering its signal virtually untraceable, and our ability to manipulate the camera gives us complete control whenever we need it. That way, when the security guard gets a blank screen, we get glorious black and white. All we have to do now is wait for Spellman to turn up and tip us the wing. Thank you. What about seismic detectors? They're using dual PIR and microwave sensors. Placed in three walls here, here, and here. How do you figure on bypassing them? Tempest attack. What's that? Transient electromagnetic pulse surveillance technology. We monitor and interpret all the emissions from the system, convert it to binary code, and hopefully come up with a few passwords. And if you don't? We'll all have to get used to prison food. <laughs> And the contingency plan is to use the self-test and circuitry of the dual devices to monitor themselves on a loop. Perhaps you should take this up professionally. We've got more information on the door. It's a Horus II with full-length locking bar and triple tumbler combination locks with a three-movement, 144-hour time lock. Do you think we can crack it? I'll get one here, and we'll see. Wallace, how you doing? Good, Mr. Spellman. How are you? Still working hard for the government. They should give you a pay rise. A oh, raise would be nice. Hey, speaking of which, what's your fancy in the 330? I'll be putting my money on Red Leicester. Tony McCoy Mount, four to five on, can't miss. I'll make a note of it. Go on through, Mr. Esther, expecting you. Thanks very much. Six hours, 23 minutes, and 31 seconds. It's no bad for a first attempt. You need to do it in one hour. Oh, this is a Class 3 safe. It takes two hours blasting it with thermal lances. Are you sure we can't go in electronically, hack into the mainframe? In theory, it's possible. The system's serviced once a year on Christmas Day. If we could convince it that Santa was coming, we'd be in with a chance. But? But the system's connected to an atomic clock. What about using the pass card? Doesn't work after hours. Looks like I'm all you've got.
Gotcha. I believe this is what you've been waiting for. Lads, we're on. Yes! Yes! About time. You're right there. Jamie. See how wants to see you. Your mother died this morning. The call came through to us. I'm very sorry. You have a week's leave effective immediately. Don't need it, boss. Why don't you want to go to the funeral? Be with the family? Can't see the point. She's dead. Nothing I can do about that. Right. Well, that's all. Us. Fancy a pint? Come here, everyone. Come on. These date from the early 1900s. The diamonds are old European transitional. The first has a center stone of 1.51 carats. It's VS2 clarity and G color. Um, it's surrounded by eight smaller diamonds. Would you excuse me for a minute? Ben Gurion Antique can find our jury. Hello. Hello, Levi. Sorry, I didn't catch the name. Have you ever read The Fall of Masada? Hang on. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. I, I I have to close the shop. Do you mind if I come back, please? Of course. The Fall of Masada, Chapter 5, page 120, Chapter 2, Word 5. Vespasian. What do I have to do? You'll receive instructions shortly. You're late. Ah, that's a walk from the station. Can I get you a drink? Glass of red. Okay. Is it me or the book? You said you wanted to talk about Pete. Yeah, I did. Or was there something else? There's supposed to be a chain of command for this sort of thing, but... I can trust you, can't I? Of course you can. Unless you'd rather talk to the family liaison officer. No, I don't want this getting back to Pete. I couldn't talk to Heno. He has problems of his own. I'm sorry, Ian. Mm -hmm. This was a bad idea. Hey, hey, hey. What is it? I hate him. I didn't realise it was so bad. We haven't slept together for months. What about counselling? For me or for Pete? Well, Pete, naturally. <sighs> Perhaps if I made a recommendation. You think he'd listen to you? 
You'd have to listen to the CEO. Oh, no, you see... I knew I shouldn't have done this. You're implicated now, you know. He tried to murder you in his sleep. It wasn't his fault. Why are you telling me these things if you don't want me to do something about it? Because I just needed someone to listen. Get out. I'm sorry. Please! What? Stupid. Stupid. Stupid! Give you a lift. Hi. Oh, my God, Pete, what's happened? I'll clear it up. Leave her. Pete, you can't leave glass on the floor. I said, leave it. How long is this going to go on for? Look, I lost it, all right? Pete, please. Will you see someone? Will you just see someone? Look, if I see someone, I'm finished. Don't you understand that? Where the hell have you been anyway? I was out at the shops. At this time of night? They're open 24 hours now. Laura. I said leave it alone. Do this. I can't go through with it. You're a Simon. Aren't you listening to me? How's business? You're a jeweler, aren't you? I'll pay the money back. It's not as simple as that. Right, gentlemen, if we succeed in getting as far as breaking into the vault, then all properties seized are to be bagged up and sent for forensic examination. There are no exceptions. Boxes within the area of 284 are to be hit first. We need to make it look real. We need to make it hurt.
Ricky. You let one go then, mate. <laughs> Come. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, I did. Sit down. Am I in trouble, sir? Yes, you are. This is it, lads. <laughs> Amazing what you can do with a bit of flour and water. Right. Here we go. I consider it bad form that you stepped down from your responsibilities, Ian. You gave me a choice, sir. And you chose your career above the welfare of your men. How do you think they'd view that? In a dim light, I guess. Your guess would be right. It's a black bag If or... you want to succeed in this regiment, Forget what you learnt in all the others. The men are first and foremost. We all rely on each other. Sir. Now, I believe you volunteered for a job. Have I? Red one. Situation report on the surface, over. All quiet on this front. Got that. Right. Let's get the equipment on. Louis, get yourself back up on top with the jackhammer. I mean, I've got one back for the rats on the line. Yeah, be good for you. Pick yourself a spot, wait for the cool. Right. Security guard's trying the water board. He's efficient. Mm, I'm holding him off with an engaged tone. Hopefully he'll give up. How are we doing on those codes? I'm working on it. is rusted. Edge is holding this door together, not mechanics. What do you suggest? A little bit of plastic just crimped into the hole would do it. Pete? Informs us if there's any work to be carried out. Emergency repairs, pipes burst underground. We need to find it. Oh, I see. All right, then, mate. I won't disturb you. Clear. Clear. Three, two, one. need to start and putting these codes very soon. I'm working on it. The program's still analyzing. Shit. He's dialing the direct line emergency number. <clears throat> Thames Water Emergency Helpline. Morning. Wallace Burke, the security at Hartington's on Bank Way. We've got some of your chaps down here working on the water mains. Is that authorized? Uh, hold on. Romeo 15, come in. What did you tell this idiot? 
sorry for the delay, sir. There are emergency works going on in your area. There's been an underground burst pipe, and the technicians are trying to locate it and solve it as soon as possible. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. No, no bother at all. I've got the first set of codes for you. Okay, I'm ready. This is the vault reception area. X-ray three niner Yankee whiskey tango four three Lima kilo. No. Okay, try Quebec Papa zero niner eight Victor Bravo five six tango. That's the first part of a three-stage code. Get the next bit wrong, and the whole bloody thing resets. All right, that's it. It's a quarter-inch steel in a wall. Caroline, how are you progress some of those cards? What's that? One Niner Juliet. Romeo Tango Zero Niner Mike. That's it, we're in. Upload the worm. Worm uploading. Self testing engaged. Wait. Circuits positive. Running the loop. Team, you have go. Spellman. We need to talk. What's wrong? Everything. Are you kidding me? We need to talk. Forty minutes. One. Whiskey Delta four five. That's the first one done. That's forty five minutes. Give us a chance. Seven one four five five nine Yankee. 
These codes aren't working. Maybe they're for something else. Right, this is the last set of codes. If these don't work, they'll have to hit and run. Seven, five, one, whiskey. Delta, four, niner. One hour, five minutes, 53 seconds. Clear. Got that? Go. We've got what we came for. Still enough to make it look good. Deacon and Butler. That's us. Our security guard friend's dialing three nines. Which service do you require? Fire ambulance or police? Police. Police, could you state your name and the number you're calling from? Wallace Burn. 5558614. I'm security at Hartington's. I think we're being robbed. We aren't showing any central station hold up alarm. Yeah, I know that. Then what makes you think you're being robbed? Because not many of our clients come back dressed as sewer rats. Look, do us a favor and send someone over to check out the vehicle that's parked outside, will you? A squad car's already on its way, sir. Right, that's it. Pack up. We're leaving. I can't bypass the fire alarm, even if we cut the power. Guys, you've been compromised. Get out of there. We are compromised. Come on, let's go!
yell. Lisa, no, please. I'm afraid I'm going to need your vehicle. Can you step out of your car, please? I haven't got time to argue. Can you step out? Seth, get out of the car! into Sumner Street, heading east. Prue, Sumner Street. That's just off Commercial Way. Caroline, head down towards Bank. Have that. Central of Commercial Way and Benson Road. That's a right for you, Caroline. Have that. Coming to a T-junction. Right, right, right. Have that. Thing you're doing? I'm so sorry, officer. Honestly, I swear. I, I, I don't know what happened. I didn't see you, and uh, before I knew oh, it. Oh, I love all right. Oh. Guys, they're calling in air support. Leave them jumpers getting by. We're knackered. How do you think I know that? Magnuson, shut up! Ricky, Jamie, uh. the door. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Do you want to spend the next 15 years to get a cork up your ass every time you have a shower? No, neither do I. No! You compromised us. Oh, Goodbye. No! We have the list. That's good news, sir. Carry on. They've got the list. That's all I need. What part of I don't give a shit do you not understand? I can't do it. As soon as we've deciphered the code, we can start to read the list. Saving lives and our blushes. What about Spellman? Didn't you hear? The Palestinians got him. And Magnuson? Once a thief, always a thief. No one will believe him. So that's it then. Job done. 
That's my boy, Jamie. But you don't understand. I was working with the SAS. I'm on your side. Defense of the realm, queen and country. Wait a minute, listen, listen. I'm a bloody hero.